What is up, thrill seekers? So I have my Coaster Kids shirt on, which means that we are at another park. This is, I almost said Six Flags Not. No, it's Knott's Berry Farm. Um, I'm super excited for today, excited to get on Ghost Rider, on Hang Time, Accelerator, um, and Silver Bullet, of course, and all of the awesome rides that they have here. I have never been here before, so every coaster here will be a new credit for me, which is great. I actually don't know what credit I'm on. I, I can count how many coasters that I rode yesterday, like new credits, but um, I don't feel like it right now. Anyways, we're gonna head into this awesome park. I'm with my dad as I go to most parks with him. And yeah, let's, let's do this. I'm super excited. First ride of the day. Ghost Rider just went by there. Let's do this. I'm excited for this. On literally every single other row in Ghost Rider is more crowded than the back. It's like one ride versus like a whole bunch. Why? Freaking jeans. Here we go. Grab your glasses. So we just did Ghost Rider twice, both times in the back row. And I gotta say um, that the second ride was better. It was a really good ride the first time, but it kind of bumped it up to great for the second ride, if that makes sense. Um, I think it's just because we got a little bit more room on the second ride. Like both of us agree, my dad and I both agree um, that it was better the second time. And I think it's just because I had like one more click of room on the second ride than I did on the first ride. The first ride I kind of got stapled a little bit. The second ride I had a decent amount of room. Anyways, I think we might be going to Silver Bullet next, but I guess we'll, I'll update you once we get to our next ride. We have ventured into the Fiesta area of the park. Um, no, this isn't Fiesta, Texas. This is, this is, uh, this is not still, we're still at Knott's. Anyways, um, we're gonna go on whatever this thing is, and then Montezuma's Revenge. Yeah. We're about to get on to Jaguar. This is this one. Um, it says aggressive ride, even though, like, bro. Anyways, let's, uh, let's do this thing. Yep, app is right. It's definitely a high throw right now. I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, it was, it was okay. Yeah, it's just it's come up kind of a family coaster. Anyways, what we are going to do next is Montezuma's Revenge. We're gonna zoom on Montezuma's Revenge. 
Uh -huh. Okay, so. I would say that that was a pretty good ride. Um, nothing too like special or anything. It didn't like it wasn't great. Um, gave a little bit of air time, but not too much. So it was okay. Um, but I guess we'll see what the other what the other rides are like. I think maybe just just hopefully crossing my fingers that oh yeah. Um, Silver Bullet is open, so we're gonna go to that. Yeah. So it's 1.30 and we haven't eaten yet today, even though we got up at like 8, 8 o'clock. So we're gonna eat some, uh, some, some party meals here. Let's see, is it gonna, nope, it doesn't zoom. Um, party meals right there, should, should be good. All right, I do not recommend um, this place, and literally, it's like, it's close to the carousel, it's called Fiesta Eat, or Fiesta Meals, I think. I wouldn't recommend it, it literally took us like 20 to 20 minutes, 25 minutes, like, it took a while, I heard. Really? I, I feel like I, I remember waiting in line and it being 1.30. And it's 2 o'clock. Okay, so yeah. 30 minutes to get our food. So it was a while. We'll see if it's good, but yeah, what do you recommend? So I just finished my food. Wasn't too good, but while I wait for my dad, I'm gonna ride the wildest ride in the wilderness. The carousel. This will be great. Hold up. Where's the entrance though? That was dope. Um, so that was really good. I think it was very unique for a B&M invert. Had a very unique layout. And uh, overall it was really good. The Helix, which is right behind me, was insanely forceful. So that was really awesome. Oh, it's about to go down. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what I'm about to ride. It's the log ride. The oh, log ride. ride. Yeah, I bailed on that. Um, it was an insanely long nine. But I will be riding the line ride. Yay. Because it actually has fast lane, which I have fast lane. So I'm going to, instead of doing that mountain, I'm going to do this mountain. So, let's do it. Uh, nope. Never mind. Um, they are still testing, I guess. Anyways, so we're, we're going to go and ride 
something else, probably accelerator because it's like right up here, and then hang time and all of those rides. But yeah, okay, look, this this is the line for the log ride. It goes all the way back to the entrance, which is like already like a good couple minute walk that way, and then it goes all the way out here and then around. Yeah, it's probably like 45 minutes to an hour, and ain't nobody got time for that, so. We're gonna ride Accelerator. Next ride up is Accelerator. Oh yeah. We just got off of Accelerator in the front row. We're gonna do another ride um, towards the back row. I'm not sure if it'll be different, but that is an awesome coaster. The launch is insanely forceful. I think it's 0 to, uh, 0 to 82 uh, miles per hour in uh, 2.3 seconds. Um, at least that's what Wikipedia said. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna do it again and then probably hang time. All right, just got off of our back row ride. It was pretty good. Um, next one is Coast Rider. Not Ghost Rider, Coast Rider. And yeah, it's the Wild Mouse Coaster, so should be all right, mainly just for the credit. But next, after that, is the mighty, awesome, some people say it's bumpy, but it looks awesome, hang time. So yeah. Uh, first coast rider, then hang time. Hold up. Sponsored? What is this, Six Flags? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, uh, I just wrote Supreme Scream. Uh, you can see that in my fear video coming out at the end of the year. And we're going to now ride Coast Rider. And it should be fun. Alrighty. Coast Rider is next. That was a pretty classic Wild Mouse. Um, not really much airtime. It was it was fun. It wasn't as like it wasn't as painful as um, Gotham City Gauntlet Escape from Arkham Asylum, which is at Six Flags in New England. Um, so, but the only problem that I have with it is that it has really really terrible shin guards, um, and they hurt me. Um, and they hurt my dad even more because he has like tree legs. Um, I have tree legs too, but I'm not tall enough yet so that it affects me. So, um, but I'm kind of scared too when I'm, I get taller and I can't, like it's hard for me to ride these rides. But, um, yeah, it was okay. Anyway, next ride I'm insanely excited about. It is hang time and uh, yeah, it should be insanely fun. are smaller than yours. Well then. Apparently the general public are afraid of vertical lift hills. And to be honest, they're a little bit scary. Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, yeah.
love that ride. We feel so free. Okay, so we just got off of a front row ride on Hang Time, and that ride is like beyond awesome. Um, it really doesn't feel like you're in a roller coaster. It feels like you're just gliding through the track, which I, I really like. Um, and I would say probably number two at the park, maybe number three. I'm trying to decide between this and Accelerator, um, but both are great coasters. Um, I just can't decide if I like the gliding feeling of this or the launch of Accelerator better. Um, so we are going to do a, uh, another ride, maybe also in the front row. We also actually might try out a different row, but let's, uh, let's do it again. All right, so we just got off of hang time four times. Um, we did it twice, no, three times in the front and then once in the, the second to back. I do have to say that definitely front is the best. It is a dive coaster, I would call it a dive coaster. Um, so it's definitely meant to be in the front, um, like ridden in the front. And also, um, if you know anything about my preferences, then you would know that I like um, gracefulness um, over forces. That's why I-305 isn't in my top 15. Towards the back is more forceful and it's, in my opinion, a little bit bumpy because of that force, if that makes sense. Um, so it's still an awesome coaster. Um, I would definitely suggest front and it does feel like you're like flying in the front row. That's how smooth it is. Anyways, we are going to get some refills for our drink cups and then um, also we got merch. Merch. Yeah. Um, anyways, then we're going to get on to Pony Express, I think. Um, probably Ghost Rider again and then Sierra Sidewinder, I think, is the last ride that we have to do. Um, and then we will have all the credits and I'll probably end the vlog. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. All right. Oh snap. It's like you're on a horseback. I didn't know that it was like a horse thing. I mean, it's Pony Express. So it kind of makes sense, but I didn't know that, so. You hit him with this one? So that was not at all what I expected. I didn't even know that this existed before I came in. Um, and then it ended up being like an awesome launched motorbike style ride. Um, I mean, it wasn't like insane, but like, I feel like if it was like, 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 if I feel, I feel like if it was, um, just a normal sit down coaster, then it would be pretty boring. But in reality, it actually was really fun because, you know, you had the illusion of, you know, you're riding on a horse and all of that kind of stuff. I have found another roller coaster. It was just in the middle of France, but uh, Camp Snoopy. And I was just like, oh wait, it's a coaster. Not even listed on their app, but it's there. <laughs> Timberland Twister. Hopefully they let me on it. It says 69 inches is the tallest you can be. And I am literally 5'5 five five right, or 5'9 right now. So, hey, okay, we'll see. Alrighty. Last roller coaster that I need to go on. Sierra Sun. There it goes. Hi. It's a uh, max spinning coaster, I'm pretty sure. And should be pretty fun. Okay guys, we just got off of our last ride that we had to do here at Knott's Berry Farm and that was Sierra Sidewinder. Now we have done every single coaster here at Knott's Berry Farm. Um, and yeah, it was a super fun time here. Uh, we do still have like, what, three hours uh, for us, we, but, but, blah, 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 blah. Um, but because I have we have already ridden all of the coasters I will end the vlog here So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed if you did definitely smash a thumbs up button and go check out my uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain vlog. I will link that up in the corner and uh, Yeah, 
that's really gonna be it. And uh, here, I'll, I'll wait for this, this ride to come by. Let's see, wait for, uh, oh, oh wow, that silhouette. Here it comes. Yeah, all right. And with that, I will see you guys all next time. Peace out.